Okay, gentlemen, we're back for part two of the video. Now, what you can see in front of you at the moment is a little graph, a little number line to tell us about tension. We can see a tension wrench, that's a top of the keyway tension tool, and we can see a pick. Now, um, when you're just starting out, I would really suggest that you buy a simple, basic set of tools. And pick powers can, can supply you with a very simple set. There are two or three different manufacturers that provide them. Um, pick powers do a couple of particularly good ones. But the bottom line is, you need some basic tools and you can add to those later. Now, what you're then going to do with those tools is use them in the correct manner. You hold the pick in whichever your best hand is, and generally you hold it like that so that you've got a little bit of feel with your, with your finger there. And this tension tool here, that's the thing that you apply rotational force to the core with. That is your best friend. And I've got to say, tensioning the lock is by far the most important skill to learn. It's more important to get the tension right than it is to get the picking right. So, let's talk about the tension. Now you can see my little number line here. Let's say we put our pick in the lock and we're not rotating the lock core at all. No pin is going to bind. On the other hand, let's say we are really mashing that core around. Everything's going to bind and we're not going to know which pin to pick. So there's got to be a range of tension somewhere in the middle there over which we can make just one pin bind so it talks to us so we know that it's the right one to pick. So that's our first job and what we're going to do is we're going to move this out of the way and we are going to grab the vise and the lock. Now the lock that's in here at the moment is the big brother of the Sparrows 3 pin that you just saw before. So this is a Sparrows lock with five pins in there. It's a five pin training lock. And again, I'm going to zoom in here so you can get a better idea of, of what we're doing. Now I'm using top of the keyway tension. So this tension tool goes in the top. And let's say I don't put enough tension on there. I stick my pick in and everything's springy. That's no use to me. Let's say on the other hand, I really mash it across like that and use a ridiculous amount of tension. Everything's bound up now and I can't tell what's going on. So we need somewhere halfway between that. And okay, here we go. Pin one is springy. Pin two is binding though. So let's just gently move pin two up and we felt a little click. Pin three is springy. Pin four is springy. Oh, okay. Pin five is binding. Let's move pin five up as well, just gently. And you heard a big click there. So we just set pin number two to the shear line and pin number five to the shear line. Let's come back out to the front. We're being methodical with this. One still springy. Two feels set. Three is binding and we just got a click out of three. So that's set now. Four is binding. And we just set four as well. So well, I think we've just got pin one to go. We set two, we set five, we set three, we set four, and yep, pin one's binding. Let's just gently move that up as well. Come on, pin one. There we go, and we got our lock open. So what we did there, fellas, we were incredibly methodical. We applied a little bit of rotational force, so we used our top of the keyway tension. We turned the core a little bit so that we had a little bit of pressure on there so that one pin bound up. We used our pick to lever that pin up gently until it clicked into place on the shear line. And then we simply repeated that for as many pins as we had. So, picking locks is a wonderful hobby, fellas. It really is. It's a, it's a really good skill to have. It's a really good way to spend time. It's a fascinating art. What I would suggest you do is get yourself the basics. So I talked about the Sparrows Progressive Lock Set. It's a brilliant training tool. Just get that and get yourself a basic set of picks and tension wrenches. There are a lot of, of beginner ones on, on PicPal's site which are excellent. Get yourself those things. And the other thing you need to do is ask questions. 
The LockSport community is really, really good about answering questions. There's no such thing as a dumb question. So I encourage you to ask Nick at PickPals as many questions as you like. I have a uh, YouTube site and I will put a link to that at the end of this video. Feel free to go to there and uh, ask me questions as well and there are clubs that you can join too. So I encourage you to do all those things and I encourage you to get started on, on this sport. So thank you for watching. I'm Michael Maynard for PickPals.